Chris Burns. I'm the CEO and founder of Techie Gurus. It's going to be your cyber team shortly. We're starting to transition towards your cyber team, which is more of our, our MSSP, because that's really where we see the future. We're more cybersecurity strategy driven now than really just IT driven. Lumo in the pre-sales process helps us identify risk because we're, we're looking for indicators of compromise. If you can identify risks in a company before you even actually sell them, it just elevates you in that company. And so when you can put Lumo in place and you can capture maybe that they're already compromised, who else are they gonna do business with? The company that didn't tell them that or the company that told them that they're compromised? After you sell a customer, we implement Lumu into that network. It helps us identify other gaps. Um, maybe they have cameras that talk back to Chinese APs and maybe they're doing business with the government. That's a big risk for them. It really helps us identify gaps in coverage. Maybe personal devices are being brought in. People are just plugging random stuff in, into the network. We're able to kind of see that. And if it's talking to a malicious IP or if it's doing something malicious, we can identify that, go to the owner and show them that and help them make a better decision about their business. Lumo is super easy to deploy. Uh, you get a choice. You can either choose an agent or you can choose a virtual appliance or you can actually do a combination of both. But the best part about that is, is it gives you the choice and the freedom to deploy it the way you need to deploy it in your business. So if you have a distributed workforce and you need to use the agent, you can use the agent. But maybe part of the business has an office. Well, guess what? You don't necessarily have to use the agent in the office. You can use the virtual appliance to capture all the same information. And you can tie that all back into one platform where you can integrate, obviously, a ton of your tools and get all that summer to one spot so you can make a really good decision really fast and even automate a lot of it. We see a lot of different IoT devices. People like Alexa, uh, we've seen Apple TVs, we've seen cameras. We've been able to discover like those things talking to malicious IPs. Lumu has been like instrumental in helping us do the network detection response so that we can actually see things that we normally couldn't see because we're mostly agent based. So when we have a computer, we can put an agent on it, but IoT devices, you can't. And that, that has been instrumental in helping us identify those gaps inside the companies. The Luma integration for email has been game changing for us. So we see a lot more business email compromise and specifically spear phishing. So where they're attacking maybe like a sales manager or a vice president, but then even further, we've seen whaling attacks where they're going after like our CEOs or CFOs. And a lot of times we're catching it before it even gets to the rest of our response um, tools. We had an incident with, with a customer and uh, they buy products overseas and they were dealing with a customer in Thailand. And they got an email from actually the owner of that company and it was trying to get them to click on a link because it was for wiring instructions. We noticed it with Lumu first. Lumu alerted to us that there was a malicious IP involved with that. It was it was a, the address that they were clicking, if they would have clicked on it, would have been malicious. Well, that link was designed to steal their credentials, steal their MFA token, so it was gonna give them access to their email. And on there was another link to where they could click and like wire the money. And it was specifically $200,000 that they owed to this company, but it was sent to a completely different bank account. And Lumu helped us stop that. Uh, the automated responses are, quite frankly, the best part. Hackers don't attack 8 to 5. They attack at maybe 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning when people aren't really working or weekends or holidays. And that automated response allows us to block malicious traffic, um, take actions on devices when my team's not available. Hey, if something happens at 2 in the morning and we automatically block something, that's, that's peace of mind for me and peace of mind for my customers.